Hello, hello. There we go. Perfect. Hey, everyone. Welcome to uh, season or <laughs> season. All right, here. This is so bad. All right, lunch meet nineteen <laughs> finals. Start. Yeah, here we go. All right, lunch meet finals. Uh, this is the nineteenth iteration of lunch meet that Johnny has run, and looks like we've got Curtis. Uh, on the blue side, Deaton on the red side, Curtis is playing a Hellfire list. He's got Emma, Bill, Rhino, Okoye, X-23, Pyro, Hellfire Club, Exceptional, Pyrotechnics, The Robbery, Mission Objective, versus Deaton playing Web Warriors. He's running Miles, Gwen, Black Cat, ASM, Panther, Wong. Uh, both players are really good and have historically shown up with uh, good results in previous events not just in lunch meets but in others so this is a, a high level match here joining me on commentary is the to of the event johnny how's it going uh doing great uh just ate a fat bowl of pho feeling fantastic so <laughs> nice do you do you add any like a uh, sauce like hoisin sauce or hot sauce to it or how do you do you personalize it in any way yeah so i add like so they give me everything i put basically everything in there and my wife doesn't like all of the meats that they give so i get those too so it's even better <laughs> Oh, well, nice. So do you do like uh, like the tendon and the, and the uh, what's it called? the Like all of it? Like all the... Yeah, all of like the meats that they send. There's like this like bag meat that's like very like thin and like very red. And then there's like a cone meat kind of thing. And then there's like a briskety like Tripe. kind of like oh, cut or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. the, the uh, It's all like the cow lining, uh, stomach lining and all that. It's so good. <laughs> I've never tried that. They don't normally have that in my place. But... Oh yeah, the the one that I used to go order from had like be tripe. I think it's called as the type of pea, the piece of the meat it is, and it's okay. tripe and tendon or something like that. I, this is uh, I haven't had it in a while, but uh, I'm jealous. Well, good. Be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're uh, they're deploying here. Rhino in, in the middle for Curtis and Rhino and Bill in the middle here. He's got Koye Emma on one flank. We're, what are we playing? We're playing Scoundrels and Infinity. So all of the uh, extracts are on top of the secures. Ten points around. Yep. So lots of it's pretty fast scoring. Both teams like to play fast scoring missions. So yeah, yeah, it should be interesting. Uh, do you know who has priority? Uh, I'm looking at the dice roll. Looks like Curtis has priority here. Um, so I guess okay, we're gonna see who, wants, who goes first. But I think let's see. Let, I guess we'll find out. Oh, looks like Deaton nope, has. Looks priority. like Deaton's going. Maybe. Uh, also, Deaton decided to to start the game with an extra VP. He uh, he's trying to sneak a VP on Curtis here. Let's see if it. Uh... <laughs> so sassy. <laughs> just, uh... Yeah, it looks like Bill is just doing the simple play. He's gonna hide behind the thing, grab the cube, and live his best life. Because you really don't need eyes in the scenario. You want the presence center, or anyways. So. Yeah, exactly, seems, and and seems uh, simple enough. Yeah, yeah, you don't need you don't need eyes on the prize because you've got, you've got cover in the middle. Plus, also you've got the building to. I mean, it's not going to really help double too cover, much, baby. Yeah, double. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Double cover. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, and there's um, not that much displacement there. You might be able to risk a kick from Miles, but that seems risky, especially with like cover and tough hide on Bill. Uh, you could maybe get like a Gwen push, but with like how Bill works, he could very easily just aggressive back. So Bill yeah. is probably there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, he's um, Miles is going. Miles has a hard time making Bill displace Bill. Right. He, the only way he can do it is is with the throw without attack dam without attack damage. So you yep, can't really exactly. rely on that at all, especially because Bill can even pay to reduce if he doesn't need to advance. And, and you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> exactly. No, he's in a great spot. Yeah. Yeah. And then Panther, I guess can also push him as well, but again, it's the same concept. You can, you can only push on damage. damage. Uh, yeah. Or, or no, hold on. It's before damage. No, you it's always, it's always yeah. you always push, but yeah, but you can always modulate it too with Bill's tough hide and yeah. cover and everything and choose not to take those. So, he's stuck which is perfect yeah. this is exactly what curtis wants just a bunch of potatoes on the points and be up so yeah so six wide on six wide here means deaton will have last activation i wouldn't be surprised to see last activation play be to um be to have be to put a guy in the middle and just like contest the middle here so we're gonna see if anyone starts jamming characters onto the middle point earlier ahead of schedule i just played a game recently on scoundrels where like against Midnight Suns, and they just, like, I put a character on the middle with, like, them still to have to activate, like, two or two or three characters, and they just, like, freaking dogpiled the middle, and it was just a problem. So I'm just, like, interested interested to see how much of a dogpile with 12 characters on the board 
uh, we're going to see on any uh, given secure here. Uh, it's pretty good odds. I, especially with like just how this goes and how fast both teams are. They can be like very mobile and just like pile on where you need to like just steal points and deny points. So yeah. Uh, look. Oh yeah. So let's see here. We're playing ASM leadership. Uh, Deaton mentioned in the chat here. So let's see how that affects the game. No defensive reroll from Miles, but uh, the cover might help him. And also, you get that guaranteed, like the automatic displacement on a slowed character with the uh, the power gen. So yeah, it can be sense. pretty nasty. Yeah, Curtis is really taking his time here, just kind of figuring out what threats are to his cube and his objectives, because he doesn't have a way to, like, steal one back. So he's probably going to have X-23 just make the safe play, get this cube. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's exactly what's happening, yeah. A few players in the chat are mentioning the the new models. Uh, so the, Emma is uh, 3D, so is Bill, recently 3D. And uh, the way they're set up in the, in the mod currently, that uh, is that they're backwards. Or I don't know if that, like, the backwards thing is... Uh, like what the deal is there. Like X23 I'm noticing is also backwards. So there's, I don't know what's going on there, or how that works, but either way, I'm, we're, I think everyone is very grateful to have the 3D models, especially people who watch games uh, from a side view. Uh, I don't know who does that, but. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> huh, yeah, who, I wonder. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, that's anything, anyone who watches games from the side view is appreciating the 3D models uh, as as much as they can because now we can we know what's actually happening and who's there and it's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm a big fan. <clears throat> Ooh, I wonder I if he's going to go with Wong here. I'm kind of surprised by that because I figure like Wong being able to set up Gwen for like some heinous sassiness like immediately is a little bit more powerful than just getting the cube because you could easily send like Cat or like even Panther up there too, if you wanted. Yeah, that's right. I I am surprised yeah. to see Wong do this. I think, uh, hmm, it's interesting because like there was urgency. So I think it was that Deaton saw urgency to that, but he mm -hmm. also didn't want to put Panther probably or a or maybe even ASM against Emma is maybe the thought there. But um, um, yeah, so he's measuring. He yeah, he's measuring the threat the threat ranges. It looks like. Yeah, I think he's going to maybe threaten the Gwen. Like, just measuring there is, like, kind of a mental game. Or that was Curtis measuring it, not Dean. But, yeah, he's, like, checking Gwen can make it, which she potentially can. So, something like Emma's going to go do some homework. Uh, Schmid's, Schmid in the chat is asking who we want to win. I don't know. There might be a, Is there any bias on your side, Johnny? <laughs> no, absolutely <laughs> not. I am totally, totally uh, unbiased on this. <laughs> no, I definitely am rooting for Curtis. He's one of, like, my close homies and stuff. And constant collaborator and teammate so yeah that's right yeah. <laughs> but i also like deaton too he's an iowan and he's like kind of close and we like chat always at like second wind and stuff and it's always nice so yeah definitely happy if either person wants to be honest yeah it's, but... it's pretty it's pretty cool to watch uh to get to Buco curtis yeah <laughs> that, that's fair that's fair yeah, you Schmidt and uh, you Schmidt and Curtis are all on a team for squad goals, and we uh, sure so are. We'll Looking to forward see, to that. Yeah, I'll see you guys there. So there's still spots open for that if anyone is still looking. Um, there are. I think it's happening May like 18th and 19th. That's so. right, a month away from now. So that's uh, uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. damn close. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. Actually, Jeez, what is, it's uh, coming so fast. Uh, so what's uh, what's your team name? Uh, we are the Meat Men, because I'm Johnny Pastrami, and Schmid identifies with chicken wings, and then Curtis <laughs> took Canadian bacon, I guess, because that's... Oh, that's very... pretty funny. I, I, I You've yeah. even <laughs> themed your, your players around that. Yeah, of course, you guys uh, all play in these, these lunch meets, and you run them, so I, I, I think the, the the connection is a cool little connection you guys have made on, on your team theme. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, looks like there we go. Black Hat is going to the middle, but uh, what she's done is I, I think there's no real threat to her, so it, it's made sense that she can throw her up there um, later. Like I guess there's Pyro. Oh, there's Pyro there. So you, but she has stealth and Pyro. She has I stealth. Don't yeah, there's no interacting the with there. it. Yeah, yeah, you won't have the money either to like just lock her down. So it's pretty, pretty tame. Yeah. I think okay. Curtis might just be dogpiling the center here a little bit. Yeah. That, and like that sending is... both Pyro and Okoye there. And maybe. We'll see. There's no reason to go anywhere else. There's nothing else really threatening anyone. So. Right. Okay. Maybe ASM stealing like a back point and just contesting it. 
Yeah, that matches what Deaton just said in the chat. He said that he wanted Wong to grab it so he could send long movers to the back uh, to the back points without giving the Hellfire team cubes. Yeah, that's totally fair. Yeah, ASM still can uh, can go and contest either option. He like probably might he might do that, do that right? Yeah. He's probably going to do that because what's going to happen is, but he has to wait till X X twenty three is activated, and Deaton does have last activation. So, hmm. It's interesting. I guess you. I guess you could send like Panther up to where X twenty three is, um, and contest, and then you could send ASM up after. Uh, but then you'd tie the point. I don't know. Like there, there's lots. I of mean, options the tying is more. like fine because is fine because you have your own. The center is tied, and then you'll go even like four to four. Four to five. To four. <laughs> yeah, the math yeah. is messing with me. I think it's four to four then, or <laughs> five, four to four. Hmm. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, well, look, Curtis yeah. is gonna have three, and then Dean's gonna have two. So that's my starting point. And then, and then Dean's gonna have, he's gonna have his er, two secures for sure because he has no threat against him there. So that's four for Dean guaranteed, and uh, he could win the middle with his going last. X twenty three can't get to the middle, so I think we're gonna see a a five five unless something, unless uh, Dean is able to put two characters onto a back point that's like on the rhinos point that x23 isn't on or something i don't know like that doesn't work yeah like really depends and like he has to really like pocket two models to one of those sides yeah if he puts if, he, if Curtis puts pyro in the middle here gwen can just shoot him and then pull him off the point and then uh and then hellfire leadership is kind of sad so he's probably looking at going at last with pyro so that he can use the leadership <laughs> Uh, and that before he ends up getting displaced, looks like Dean has to go for it right now though. So he's still he's deciding. Looks like he's deciding on. All right. Ooh, this is tough because it's like Pyro now is like super tempted to attack, uh, the middle and trigger this put incinerate is, on both of them. This but, might have been a mistake here to go. I but here's the thing though. There. Here's the thing that I didn't like playing Hellfire though is that like you can't ever. Oh, what's he doing here? Oh, he put slow on Bill first. We missed that. He put slow on. Oh, Bill, we did. Yeah. And then he now he oh and now he hit him with the the <coughs> leadership trigger off. to got him. Yeah. Off okay. Point. Um, okay, that's sassy. I like it. Yeah, I was gonna say that uh, that Pyro. I I when I play Hellfire, it's like you can't ever uh like and you have a character like Pyro who has to move and then attack and move and attack or whatever. Um, you can't ever attack on round one. Uh, or like. Uh, in this situation you couldn't because if you did that you'd be left uh losing power and taking damage because you're not playing the like the scoring game and uh yeah, that's, no, for uh, sure. that's tough that's tough so then your your opening is like it, you just don't have like a crazy opening uh but i i'm just like i'm just like used to playing openings where it's like all right i've won by the end of round one <laughs> and hellfire sure, it's like yeah. it's like a slow march towards uh victory like you're just like you're just characters are staying up healthy you're getting more power doing more superpowers but it's like a slow march to the end um or just like it's like rising it like slowly rises your your uh control on the game mm -hmm. yeah exactly uh all right <laughs> as the players are playing the game Dean and Curtis are both fighting in the in the Twitch chat as they're, as they're playing their game right now live. oh god <laughs> <laughs> well I can't see chat so I'm perfectly fine oh, I'm insulated yeah, yeah. No, from no, any no, sassy they're... things they say yeah no no they're just they're... to tip their of hands of course if anyone doesn't know or hasn't figured it out yet this is a replay they actually have already played the game wait so... they, they were in the chat and playing at the same time they're mad <laughs> yeah, I know right crazy yeah, yeah they're getting all of our terrible advice on how to play the game and uh <laughs> Uh, I feel I feel like we're generally pretty. I think we're pretty <laughs> close in tier level of players and stuff. So I think we got some good insights. Yeah, that's lie. right. Nobility, <laughs> yeah. nobility also caught that uh, Curtis gave a free VP to Deaton as a a sympathy VP or something. Or a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is kind of like a weird spot because like moving Pyro into the center gives you basically nothing, right? Because like you're already losing the point. It's already like gone, and like. Putting stuff on Gwen doesn't matter too much, like a little bit, but I don't know how much of like her superpowers and everything she's gonna end up using this game with like lifesavers and stuff, because Curtis really doesn't care about attacking. Yeah. Maybe one or two attacks that will actually like matter. 
So that's we'll that's true. Yeah, and especially if she like ends up getting uh, hit with the the pyro's ability, like it just yeah the ruin that even worse. Yeah. yeah, yep, that is the main thing that pyro is here for. He is a heinous monster, and web players everywhere fear him. <laughs> Mark in the chat is uh, saying that. Uh, um, playing and chatting simultaneously is just BDE, big Deaton energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that checks out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we've got three characters on the top of the screen here. Emma, Okoye, and Pyro all are sitting on the... I think Pyro's also a new 3D. I, I don't remember exactly, but uh, anyway, that means that there's like no way that Deaton can like outscore or contest that point. I think Panther is already out of range too anyway, but... Um, Let's see. He's going to win. So Dean's winning five points right now with the, th with the three secures guaranteed and the two cubes basically guaranteed as well. So now it's a matter of just um, winning, uh, trying to win. Or, or even if you put ASM and Panther on that point, you're stopping Curtis. So Curtis would only score four. Um, yep, three yeah, cubes, three like cubes five to four here potentially. Yeah, so I think that that's what we're seeing here. Yeah, so ASM is probably gonna sneak, find a way to sneak on there. I don't think X twenty three will we'll have enough space to body block, and just even by Dean putting uh, Panther like right beside Rhino here, even like look at how he's putting him like inside him the range far one, enough. inside the range yeah. one, which means yeah, that he's ASM putting can him up sneak far enough. Him. Yeah, so ASM, yeah, exactly. Yeah, smart. Which is very clever. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and he's slowing. Oh, he's slowing <laughs> right. Rhino. oh, he's just taking it. He's just saying, F it. I'm, this is mine. Which oh, yeah, is there fantastic. we go. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because uh, yeah. he's going to use ASM to do the same thing, probably. Okay, yeah. so X. Yeah, he's going to like just move ASM and he's just going to like flip off Rhino. Yeah, so that with, would score uh, him. Leadership. That would score so him. So he'll be up six, six to four then. Six to four. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cause it would, yep. <clears throat> Unless X23 just randomly one shots Panther here, which would be pretty rad. Uh, Not quite, but. Yeah, no, it's uh, Panther. I, I mean, that's why he put Panther up there first, is specifically yeah, for, for sure. uh, the blanks. And um, yeah, there you go. Good roll from Deaton. Reroll, counting blanks and getting a reroll on top of that is pretty good. Uh, oh, hold on, uh, you don't get it. You don't. Get yeah, it. he doesn't get any rerolls. I'm just so yeah, used he... to. All right, yeah. it's gonna take, it's gonna <laughs> take me a couple yeah. rounds to adjust. All right, but yeah. yeah. Nah, you're good. <laughs> also, the uh, yeah, another thing that I uh, that is new is that the movement tools have finally been updated, so our characters are way faster now with the with that uh, divot. Uh... Yeah. So the so if you right click on like the place for like throws and whatever for like easy fast versions of that. Yeah. It's still not. Doesn't go the full distance. It doesn't go the full distance. It kind of goes into the cup. Gotcha. So, well, that's okay. Good to know. But I, I Carl know. is working on that. I've like talked to him about it today and stuff. So that should be fixed very soon. Yeah. But either way, it's um finally like every time I've been like a millimeter out, <laughs> it's is it gonna matter? Yeah. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. Right. Like how much of a distant difference is it? Is it like less than a uh, less than a millimeter or like a millimeter? I don't know. Like it's a the matter of like using the throws and pushes will be slightly farther. It's I think like four millimeters, so okay, it is actually so like a decent. Um, but the advance, your advances were are barely. They must not be affected very you, much, right? You because... move slightly, f so you can move a tiny bit further still if you go to the corner, by like half a millimeter. Right, just because like the, with the tool or whatever, with like, like how it yeah. like bends out and stuff, but. So yeah, it's not by much. Okay, so it's mostly just pushes and throws that are yep. gonna, you're gonna see that on. Exactly. Okay. All right. So now we've got the round ending six four like we thought here. They've taken yep. their cube damage, and Hellfire does have priority here. Dean got refunded his one free point or whatever. Yes. Curtis took it back. He wasn't okay with how this played out. <laughs> And uh, let's see, X-23 has three power. Rhino took a damage. I'm trying to... That was up the like... cube damage, yeah. Yeah, okay, so okay. So displacing um, Rhino off the point was... Curtis wasn't... It's not the end of the world for Rhino because he was holding an extract, so the leadership trigger um, that Emma did would have still given him extra power uh, because he was holding the extract. He also... Rhino was the last thing to get like moved to, so... yeah. Okay, so it looks like Pyro's getting in range two of Wong, uh, to avoid. Okay, I was gonna say to avoid cover, but that doesn't uh, that doesn't uh, line up. He is. No. Nope. What's he thinking here? What's uh, Curtis doing like with the range two on Pyro? I think he's gonna spend and shoot him. 
Um, he's gonna do a sp- oh a spender. Oh, maybe he does spender. Yeah. Uh, he's doing. I think he's a, spending. No, he's doing. Ooh, he's hitting. Oh, he's slow. he's hitting. Okay, yeah. All right, he's just getting the best of both worlds. Yeah, he's putting like root and slow on Gwen, which good. <laughs> she deserves that. Okay. So there we go. There was the root slow. So yeah, all yeah. The new tokens on there are gonna take. Yeah, I, I I don't know what. Yeah, I'm just yes. I need a long time. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. I still I'm still never gonna use them. I'm I'm bringing my old school tokens uh, to events and all that in person. So. Oh, I just use uh Vince Kirkov's uh, Patreon ones. Uh, Shout out to Vince. <laughs> Subscribe to his Patreon. Get six tokens. Oh my gosh! All right, it's like a virus. All right, it's uh, this is, <laughs> you've you've been yeah. you've been affected by the the. The, what is that called? The, I don't, it's the shilling. Shilling, yeah, yeah. Shilling. yeah. <laughs> the no, shillings. Like I have a bad case tonight. Yeah, Vince. Uh, Vince makes great. I don't subscribe to his Patreon, but all of the YouTube content he puts out is is wonderful. So yeah, his new shield video is sick as hell, and there's yeah. um, the stuff. I I feel pretty uh, sharp with like tricky rules things or whatever, and I learned some shit. So check it out. Yeah, it was it was really cool. Uh, okay, so looks like we had Pyro. He attacked Wong, put three damage on him in a wild incinerate, and um, he put he fell back with Wong before damage. This is to get him out. This is Dean did this to get outside of range three of Pyro, so that he could not pyrotechnics, um, and just take his cube from him and then trigger leadership and then have Pyro heal, etc. Uh, etc. Et kind of thing. So in this case, Pyro did have to lose power. And lose and take damage, which Emma then gained power from. So, um, and he couldn't play Pyrotechnic, so Wong was able to keep the uh, the extract on him. Yeah, and it looks like he's gonna try. Oh, Dean's just checking ranges, making sure he's like safe from either of those two ladies just coming up and sniping him for that last point. So, yeah. Which seems good. Which good. Good to be safe. Don't just give up. Whatever. So. Okay. So we've got Miles with a cube. He doesn't have uh, no mission objective for Deaton here, which is like the common counter for Rhino plays. Rhino's gonna be able to just take uh, his extract at any time he wants. I would have loved to see. I would have loved to see mission objective in here. Any any time I play a mission where you can hold multiple pieces, and I. Or you've got a lot of characters on the board and like like scrolls where you've got usually have like six characters on the board or you can easily have six characters on the board. And I don't bring mission objective. I feel bad I didn't bring it. Uh, it's like yep, Mitard is very good. I, I if you haven't played it in a while, it's, you should definitely play it and try it out again. <clears throat> All right. Well, Deaton rolled exactly what he needed. Ooh, um, ooh, yeah. Dean saying, Dean saying, uh, mission objective was not in the roster. He uh, he net decked before the event. Oh yeah, that's right. Deaton's roster has uh, Thanos, Corvus, and Proxima as a Black Order splash that he oh, ended that's up right, yeah. not using at all. So he played basically webs with seven <laughs> characters the whole event. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, we'll get there eventually. Okay, he got there. <laughs> so Miles uh, threw, did an attack into Pyro, hit the wild, two damage, no no damage through, but the wild push. Yep, and yeah, looks like he's just gonna go and get some points now and be happy and safe. Yeah, I think the main idea here was uh was to get outside of range of Rhino or just get away from Rhino. Yeah. I think also so part of it too is you can pyrotechnics when it's not your activation. Yes. So I think like it's basically meaning like because I feel like Wong is just gonna probably walk heal himself and go back on the point and protect that. So this way with the kick you can not yeah. give up the objective randomly for free so yeah i see that that's a good point yep that is um the brotherhood have like a sweet set of cards that are all out of activation right with uh with do you know who i am and deception and pyrotechnics all being just on your own turn doesn't have to matter like <laughs> uh the magneto card as well too for what it's oh, worth yes, the cover yes. card they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they can play five cards on uh yeah right away boom 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 there you go that would be pretty impressive. <laughs> okay, so now Curtis's turn to go here. I mean, like, here's what I'm envisioning a uh, a stampede in the near future, but the only problem right now is that Bill is in the way. So I, I can understand if we have a Bill rotation to set up Rhinos, a stampede, and just uh, 
try to bully that side, Miles and Wong over there, and see if he can th displace them off the point, Rob take their pieces, and, and just, uh, and Daze Wong take his piece, that type of thing. The, uh, I would leave Panther and, uh, and, ASM fighting over a just a secure and while the other extracts are on the other side of the board. So let's see if uh, let's for see what sure. Curtis does here. But uh, that's that's what I'm seeing for Rhino. Rhino's just in <laughs> uh, he's, I feel he's like pretty good. I guess I'm not. Yeah, I guess moving Bill right away is fine, and then you can threaten these oh. two like first up race right away too. Yeah, you're gonna you're just gonna throw. Uh, size, yeah, just, you do size four? I think you throw Miles right into oh, okay, yeah. him because Miles gets off the point and you're also threatening Wong. Let's see if he if he does that. It looks like you're yeah, right. It's, yeah. He's just going to push him back. Wow. Curtis not using the tools. Yeah, he's, he's an And animal I think he might have paid for it by <laughs> keeping them on the point. Oh, and he barely gets him off the point uh, on the. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he could definitely take a like, little wider angle, but that's okay. Uh, and Wong has braced. No way. <laughs> okay, yeah. So there we go. Not a single piece of train off the board yet for Hellfire, and the brace card is gone. That's uh, that's tough. Yep. Uh, Wong looks like he's using leadership, which is threatening and mean. Uh, he pulled some power. It looks like he... Oh, he healed this Miles. Okay. Makes sense. Doesn't need to heal himself. He's dying anyways. Who cares? Yeah. When you just shake, shook it or whatever. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Just give up the point, or just like when potentially cleared off. Yeah. So here's the uh, here's the rhino play coming in. The uh, now now you can throw. Well, Wong is holding the piece, right? So now you can throw Wong into Miles to daze him. Uh, and he's already yeah. and he's already activated too, which means that he. Uh, um, he won't switch. Hold on, I'm, I'm maybe I'm messing up my priority situation. Yeah, yeah, you won't you won't give Deaton priority either, right? Uh, which means like you can like run away with the extracts that you've you've gotten from him. Mino does look like he might be. He's just doing. It. Let's see. Yeah, he's like walking, and then he's gonna do the stampede. It looks like maybe and then the other option is like the other option is a terrain throw into into one of these people. Okay, there's the stampede. All right. Yeah, no, he's he's gonna go and. Get that bag over there, because you can daze both of those characters. Or you can s take the objectives from both of those characters pretty decently. So you're Schmidt. living your best life. Schmidt in the chat. This is like watching the WNBA. Good fundamentals, but no crossover into windmill dunks. Curtis says, uh, <laughs> Rhino literally just crossed over and dunked on two people. Or like he's about to. Yes. <laughs> Look, so, it's uh, looking so that way. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Four, four hits from uh, Rhino. That is... A beautiful number. Thanks so, so rolling. the question then the question is, uh, is that is Curtis the uh, the Caitlin Cart Clark of MCP? <laughs> I don't know who that is, but <laughs> okay. Oh, sure. come on! You don't know. You haven't been keeping up with with WNBA she's like a, or w, the uh, the college. She's like a big college, and she's like yeah, yeah. being maybe picked up by like a. She just got first round team? drafted by uh by the Indiana Fever. I've only been I've been watching the 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 hype for the last couple months now, and uh, yeah, okay. she's uh she just like broke a bunch of scoring records for the college uh, women's basketball, and uh, and now is in the WNBA. Well, cool. Anyway, uh, she, uh, yeah, this is looking uh, very good right here. It looks like Rhino might be the proud owner of two cubes, <laughs> depending on how uh, Mr. Wong uh, dodges. Right. Yeah. So he's um. So we attacked into Miles. Oh, I see. Here, he has a problem. Yeah, they could. Uh, he could scoop two of them. So. Yep. Yeah. This this might be what he needs. So. He's got four power too, because he did. Yeah, he got the. Yeah, he the cranked uh, yeah, he miles traded, for three. He traded the stampede for three damage, which put him at net parity for where he started, and yep. uh, and it's now, now just magically halfway across the board. <laughs> so now Wong throw. He's gonna play the card, is, or yeah, is he throwing terrain? Is. No, he's yeah, he's, he's playing ran. the card. Yeah, now he's run overing. He spent three power though to play the card. Uh, uh I think that was an accident. Yeah, He'll figure yeah, it out. I'm sure. I'm sure not. But yeah, the obviously the oper order of operations pays two. Do the throw, then pay one to pick it up. Yeah. All right, I got it. How do I get rid of these people here? All right, long dice. Let's see how it goes. Uh, nope, he goes in the toilet. Perfect. You love to see it. <laughs> Man, I wish I knew how to like. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. 
I had the victim. Yeah, I don't know how. To, how do I like get rid of these people? <laughs> these uh, the chatters that are in that chat that are not actually chatters that are fake. Uh, you can probably ban them. Yes, that's right. Get out of here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to <laughs> do Curtis that. Dean. You're not allowed. <laughs> Oops. All right, all right. We're uh, we're we're good to go. <laughs> Look at this. This is some crap. I'm not I'm not professional here. All right, you got to see my uh, internet pop up. All right, yeah, it's a replay stream. Okay, so uh, how do I try to fix this? Well, it looks like she's gonna go over there. She might displace Bill off there because he's already been set up with the slow. I have no idea. All right. Or just go within one. Oh, did Curtis make a mistake? Uh, what did he do? Oh, he did it. Did he? Uh, he didn't play did... robbery. Oh, he did play robbery. He picked up the cube. Well, where did he? Yeah, but why from? does Black Cat have a cube? He stole it from Rhino. He didn't she have stole... any power. She didn't have any power. Yeah, no, yeah, because Dean had two cubes going into the turn. I'm sure they'll. Uh... Ryan only had power for one cube. Oh, he he did make a mistake, I think. Well, he yeah, because he started yeah, he should have he had, had four. All three he cubes. had four power. How did he? How did he pay two for a robbery? He had four power because he did. Three yeah, I don't Miles. know. No, 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 no. He only got two power because Miles had taken one from a cube damage earlier. So when he was at three damage, he would actually only did two damage with the attack. You know, yeah, Rhino. No, Rhino should have had four power. No, he so. went. He went from four. He paid three to one. Did two damage to Miles. Which meant that he went to three. He should have went to three power. He had over. He had over. Oh, Miles had power. cover from the point. Okay, there we go. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, he 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 made a mistake. Yeah, he overgained one. Yeah, okay. and that's that that's why sense. he could only pick up one key. Okay. There All we go. right. Okay. Yeah, he misadded. Okay, makes sense. Oh, there we go. I figured out how to do it. All right, ban the user. There we go. All right, I know how to do it for next time. Too. <laughs> Um, perfect. <laughs> really, they must have been causing some trouble in chat. <laughs> it was just a, it was just like a bot message. I don't even I didn't even read it. Oh, it was just okay. a wall of text. So maybe oh, I thought you're banning Curtis and Deaton or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, we're good. All right. Um, no, for now. He knows how to do it, guys. Behave. There we go. Yeah, there's the dog pile that Nobility uh, is mentioning. Yeah, ban Curtis from playing Hellfire Club. I know it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. Okay, but yes, there's the dog pile. We've got one, two, three, four, five characters that are all within two of a single objective here, with a Koye looking to join in. Um, okay, so Dean new Spider Tracker here. That is kind of interesting. Maybe it's just to like try to get to, Miles like... on the point is what he tried to do here because now he's yeah. got Black Hat on the point and Miles. Um, yep. but isn't uh, but Koye. also oh my goodness but also <clears throat> Bill is also on the point. Yeah, there's a lot, but Bill's slowed. So if Dean has last activation, he's gonna be able to threaten Gwen, just walking over, bean dipping him off, and then just walking back to the center. Mm. No problem. Yeah, yeah, I see. <laughs> Dean saying how it was like this is like a. It's a problem. It was a problem here where he's uh, a lot of too many things going on for him to action, respond against. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tough. Yeah. It's uh. Dude, man, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe double, maybe go like just three, th like I've won this wider, wider than, I don't know. I don't know how to beat when I play Hellfire, I have no idea how to beat webs. And when I play webs, I have no idea how to beat Hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, me and Curtis have had some games where it's like he's definitely improved and like he's learning. So <laughs> this is a good test of his skills. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, um, yeah, it's interesting. Although Dean's playing like a way different style than I am. I normally play like miles and wide and just steal all your shit and laugh to the bank. So this is an interesting like challenge game, and I really am enjoying yeah. Dean's style here and like his different take on webs. Yeah. He's uh yeah it's got a uh, that's pretty cool. I mean webs are pretty sweet to play. I've had they a, sure are. Uh, they're just like like man, I know they're good because when I play against them they freaking 
<laughs> they are so difficult to play against, man. They're so difficult to play against. That's with those steals when you, especially when you've got like the when you've got like I don't know. I Spider Woman is awesome. I love I like Spider Woman, and and that gets you three steals because you're playing Miles and Black Cat pretty much every game. Yep. And uh, and so it's like you got three steals. You have nowhere to hide if you're playing a white extract game. She has interrogate too, which yeah, uh, yeah. just randomly steals games. Ask uh, Nate about that. He lost the game to sec- uh, to Kevin at second wind to uh, an interrogate play. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he like Wong powered over a power to her. Oh yeah, then... I remember hearing about that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he used the Wong power to push in the incinerate or the extra power to push the interrogate online after yeah. all the characters had already activated. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, which is very cool because like you can't really play around that. It's it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's a very smart yeah. play. Uh, Hellfire Club has the power to keep up with the ASM style. Yeah, I can I can understand the I can understand the the challenge there. Yeah, I think when yeah, I think it's just a safe move to go back. There's no point in like dogpiling that one point when you're just giving up like Emma a double walk to the center and going being irrelevant. So yeah. The, uh, it's um it's interesting because like uh because this is around round two it's like there's so many characters that are worth a lot of points on the table that haven't done anything yet in this round or haven't had a uh, that significant of an impact like emma yeah. for I, emma holding the cube is like it's great for emma like like everyone's like ignoring her and she's just gonna secretly like get two power get two points every round it looks like yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's just taking it to the bank. That's what you need. Yeah. And, uh, uh, it looks like X-23 might go threaten Gwen a little bit here. If you're feeling frisky, you could just like spender spender and like hit ASM like a big attack because he's not immune to Pierce and then just go get... I think the problem is that you don't... He, he probably doesn't want to put either of their powers online, Panther or ASM. That's true. So yeah, he's probably like gonna just not run. attack yeah. either of them. It's like yeah, there's yeah, no. We're just need. gonna go clown on Gwen. She's cover. Whatever. She already has it. Yeah. The uh... <laughs> Mark in the chat. MCP, but the playback speed doubles every time someone mentions Bill or Rhino. <laughs> 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 so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, Patrick in the chat also mentioned that we should play one of these at 1.5 speed uh, in the future and see if anyone comments on how fast everyone is everyone is playing the game. Or... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's lots of fun things I would want to do if I had more time, but uh, it's just... Oh, man. Okay, so let's see here. We've got um, Emma looks and looking to roll. She just yeah, moved she's up. attacking Gwen here, yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, you hit your trigger. Perfect. Couldn't have rolled any better. And she's slowed and and uh, rooted. So yep. it means they're just going to be tight. Yeah, this is, uh, might be frown town for <laughs> Gwen here. Now she's going to have to activate. Uh, like now. Force the activation of uh, Gwen now. She already um, went. She oh, beamed up okay. the loft and then took so back she, the center. Oh, gosh. That's, that's brutal. Yeah, so she's given up the point, and now uh, I'm assuming Bill, or not Bill, uh, Panther's going to go here, and he's just going to, like, smack X-23 twice to, like, just push her away and, like, unset up this play. Yeah. Or just hit her with a slow, even better. And then hit her with the slap. Right, there you go. Yeah, that is uh, pretty sassy. <laughs> I would have more time if, if I <laughs> doubled the, the playback speed every time. Uh, all right. I don't know if I, my tools can fun, my can functionally handle that. I don't know what the VLC. And also, I do most of my streams live too. All right, so that, that's not pop. Just have to message the players. Play faster. <laughs> Please go faster. Okay. Uh, looks like Panther is has walked and now is now pushing twenty three so that he she can't hit Gwen at all or like. Yes, it's gonna. Ooh, it's gonna be tricky because she's already in range three of X twenty three, right? So it means that. All she has to do is walk to where she was, and she can hit. Right, yeah, she can just go back exactly where she was. However, because she doesn't have the medium movement now because of the slow, she she can't can't make it to that point. Yeah, yeah, unless she kills Gwen, and then I think you will have enough power to rotate. Yeah, so I think Curtis definitely wanted to take some damage there, and like fortunately for Dean, which is he rolled exactly the way he wanted. No damage no hits anything right because i'm pretty sure curtis would have re-rolled out of any successes to take free damage you get free power that makes a lot of sense 
Uh, he All right, well, a I huge guess. Roll and just uh-huh, takes yeah. <laughs> sure, oh, yeah. Lord. He doesn't even have to resolve the crit. Oh, perfect. Oh, gosh. All right, so he hit it. Yeah, he's going to probably pay the two power here. You get another now he free gets move. A frenzy, yeah. Yep. Oh, so now he's going to be now he's going to be able to rotate to the middle is what you're saying. Yeah, he, yeah, and he made it to the middle perfectly. So. <laughs> um. Yeah, because when you do your frenzy, oh hold on, you you can do oh because you can do a short advance, so you do a short advance towards Panther. No, so you so you're just going to move to the other side of Panther. You're going to take the frenzy f- move. So you're gonna take the movement from the frenzy first, make the attack, and then you're gonna do claw rush yeah, and then go yeah. on to the point. Because no, you can stack those however yes, you want. Exactly. Yes. So he's doing the frenzy and then finally ending the uh, the claw rush trigger of the. the yep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I see. Yeah. yeah. That's complicated. It's it's. Uh, if anyone's watching and does won't under doesn't understand what we're talking about through our uh, anyway. Read the attack sequence chart. It's like <laughs> it's like a free way to level up your game just by reading that. Uh, chart looks like he's taking the medium move no it's a short move the short move sorry he's taking the the friend the not the frenzy right this does that no i'm pretty sure he's doing frenzy first to like make the free attack that didn't look like that didn't look like towards panther though it looked like it doesn't have to be towards anything you can go any direction you want with. oh there's no okay that's what i was missing yeah okay so angel has the exact same power yeah that's right okay so now i didn't realize it was you could go any direction on the frenzy Oh, that yep. makes sense because, like, yeah, I guess you don't. It doesn't say like choose a target or anything. It just says right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You because you can often take uh, the move and put yourself out of range to do any attacks just because you wanted yep. that extra move. But you might exactly. as well attack someone if they're uh, if they're there. In a lot of cases, the bleed there on Panther is nice to yeah put some nice damage pressure on them. Bleed gets you the damage on characters without giving them power. So there you go. And ASM doesn't have a way to displace, so X23 is at least stopping speed. Uh, he does. He, he can literally walk over there, bean dip her off, and then no problem, because she's slowed currently. <laughs> okay. All right, maybe by, maybe by round four if it gets there. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll remember that, uh, that, that leadership. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to take a guess as to how many times I've played ASM's leadership? Uh, I'm going to say once three and a half years ago when no, he first I've came I've never out. played it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Even less. All right. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. So now he can't... The, the rotation here on ASM is tough too because he can't um, get within one of the middle because of the terrain body blocking. That's fine. You're already up points or whatever. You're going to go... You're fine like just like stopping Curtis from scoring more and like kind of like curbing his velocity a little bit. So I'm pretty sure ASM is going to go and be right in Emma's face here. It's just going to like flip X23 off and then yeah. Maybe he wants to keep, keep the scoring going. I don't know exactly what. Yeah, so this is a situation is. where it's like do you want the game to score out faster or slower? Nah, he's and, going slower. Uh, yeah, I'm you, so smart. Yeah, exactly. Brain genius. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> maybe I don't. No, maybe not. He heard me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're still listening in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the um. Yeah. So that's the question. If he goes on. Okay. The point yeah, now the, he's uh, he's okay. He's <laughs> contemplating all of his life choices. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. And having this a little exact bit of a uh, little bit of a uh, yeah. um, what is this? A little, he's a, a little bit of a table talk, or just uh, he's he's revealing his mental state. <laughs> um, yeah. Scenario teams just give each other fits. Okay, I'm right. After wrong, brain genius. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, we've got Deaton winning one secure and and one extract versus Curtis winning four extracts and nothing. No so yeah, it's gonna be uh, so they're gonna be tied now at eight, which is perfect. All right. Oh, look at this. I can use my ban ability again. Boom. Boom. All right, there we go. We had another bot. Oh, wait. Hold on. I got another one. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm getting invaded. I'm getting, like, invaded. All right. Uh, All right. I'm going to get power for the turn. I was going to say, does she have enough money to just kill ASM here? Probably not, but try. Okay, so okay, so now we're in the next 
round here. Everyone's flipped and all that. Cube damage has yep. been allocated, uh, looks like. Yeah. Or it must have um, happened. This is looking like a pretty easy cleanup for Miles here. He might as well just put him out before he, like, cranks a million uh, energy dice into <laughs> Rhino and steals all the cubes back. Yeah. And before he can, like, get patched up or anything, because... Yeah, Gwen could easily walk over there, patch him up, smack somebody, pull someone off, run away. Yeah, so. no brace means like this is a this means. Yeah, it's just, just, just like free money here. Yeah, you could also have like Rhino go, just throw the size four that's next to him, and like just walk away. Right. Because uh, Gwen or like Cat also doesn't have enough power for like a steal immediately either. So. Yeah, man. Even just like attacking, just like dazing Miles and killing Wong, it was just like would be a lot. Because then you've yeah, no for one sure. on that side. Yep, yeah. Everyone's like hand cleared out, and then Gwen is still being like super imperiled here by X23 because she will probably put Gwen down if she gets to activate a molested. So, yeah. The um, the Tabid Colossus mentions that uh, the the there's a few discords in MCP community that are getting invaded on a semi regular basis by bots. Uh, but uh, I've seen it happen in the. In the uh, in rich rich mids uh, channel or Discord, uh, and then I've seen it. Uh, the Danger Room had, had it, and the, even the Atomic Mass Games official channel apparently had a, a bot. Yeah, I heard those was really bad. Taco <laughs> Truck got hit as well by oh, like did they? one. Yeah. yeah, but they were very fast about getting rid of everything. Nice, nice. There you go. So like, there. I don't know what what what's triggering this. I have no idea, but uh, probably Elon Musk. I'm just blaming <laughs> yeah, him for this bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> he won't ban bots on Twitter, so now here we are. Wait, sorry, what? He he did what? He he's like refuses to like ban bots oh, on Twitter gotcha, and just doing gotcha. everything in his power to like just let them be there. Uh, we have an it's attack cool. here. Great who's, platform. Um, yeah, that's pretty funny. All right, who's uh, so who's attacking? Um, I'm uh, I don't know. Five dice attacks with there's. A oh, platform. okay. He just Rhino, okay, so... Rhino did the attacks. It was Rhino. Okay. Cool. So it looks like he did two attacks. I'm thinking he's gonna throw the size four into Wong here. Uh huh. Godspeed. Um, so he's Long doing man. he's doing the thing that I was thinking he would do. I I just uh looks like Oh no, oh, I guess he's going to black chat. Mm, okay. Uh she needs to convert that otherwise she goes down. Yo, she lives. Oh, there There's we go. Money for steel now. She had already taken one damage from the cube last round, so she needed she needed to take two block two and she blocked three. Yep. I think that's the math. Yeah, cuz it's five damage in, so one plus yeah. Care right, Stewart, well, welcome to the welcome to the stream. A lot of new streamers today. I'm there. We, hello, either robot, hi, robots or not, they're uh, they're they're joining my stream. <laughs> they're new and they're numbers, yeah. and that's what's yeah, important. Damn know. it, Care Stewart, please please confirm you're not a robot. <laughs> please type this in yes. chat now. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, that's Rhino's activation here. He l triggered leadership again. Yeah. So all makes sense. Are it's like the best opportunity. Pyro's, like, Pyro's taking, a little uh, sad, yeah, yeah. but like, who cares? Whatever. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely looking to be like a big uh, slow bomb here. Not a Gwen. Because that's, mm. I think, Curtis's entire team. <laughs> like, straight up. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> yeah, it's Brady. <laughs> Find the fire truck in the pictures. Yeah, what is that? Uh, what a captcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hate so yeah, those I, things. All right. I, I do too. They're obnoxious. So I don't like Curtis's line there with throwing the truck into Cat. Yeah. I think into like Wong, it's like just more impactful because like Cat before that, she's going to take some damage. And if she hits the two blocks, which is not the most unlikely thing, she like survives, has enough money then for a steal and then can just like fire it off. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you throw it at Wong, the best he's going to do is, what, heal himself? He I guess be, like, give a power a to Black Cat exactly. and be, like, super telegraphed with it. Being on a point you, like, doesn't enough. even matter for Wong anyway now at this point because he's injured. So it's, exactly. like, he, yep. yeah. It, having him, Wong having, like, three extra power is not going to take any VPs from your team. Right. But I guess, like, if Curtis is, like, just thinking, like, he might be in a hole with here, like, just swinging for the fence isn't terrible. Yeah, I think the the think what he saw is probably that the upside on getting dazing black hat was just ab absurd. Like it was like the game would definitely like the game would be over at For that sure. point if if black hat got dazed there. So 
Um, yeah, so now Blackhead basically has to go here or risk another terrain throw. Maybe that car crash uh, near Pyro could even go into her. So yep, let's yeah, see I think, yeah, she just has to go. Yeah, she's just dealing and then running. Yeah, Curtis mentioning in the chat that Cat was, uh, of the characters available to be thrown into, Cat um, is, was better for the sake that it's uh, Wong can take attacks much easier than Black Cat can. So he's like, I'm, I'm going to attack. I'm going to have characters here to attack. I might as well have them attack Wong and try to get Black Cat. No, that that's, was... that's fair. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So looks like we have a patch up from Wong into Black Cat. And Black Cat did take a cube. So yep. uh, yeah, there we go. So Deaton kind of undoing the the uh, what Rhino did to her. Uh, looks like he opted not to go with the all webbed up right away with, with uh, Gwen and just get that cube, which uh, is reasonable. Yeah, for sure. It's like, yeah, it keeps her alive. Yeah. Ooh, the, the I'm seeing here another struggle um, that Dean is up against here is that by burning the leadership with Panther and him never getting an attack, he's attacked only once and didn't gain, gain any power from it. Uh, it means he's still on round three. He's still in a spot where he uh, he doesn't have his pounce online. You don't really need the pounce, like especially with, like how he's playing. He's just playing as like this mobile flanky guy who can like go contest a point and like just put slows or like dip people off of it or whatever. Yeah. So like that's perfectly fine, and that's and he's like a guy who's not gonna die at all, especially with like cover and like counting blanks. Good fucking luck. Right. And skull modify as well too. So yeah, he's. Oh hold on, no, 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 no skull modify. Oh god, you're right. Oh, oh I got gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but yeah, but even so though, yeah, cover and counting blanks. He yes, is a yes. tanky boy. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So it looks like that was Dean's turn. So it is. It is Curtis's turn to activate. Yep. Here. Yeah. He's gonna send somebody here and kill Gwen. She's just a juicy target. It's free. Right. It's like a free activation. So I mean, uh, you w wouldn't you just do X twenty three here at this point then? Uh, potentially, because if Emma could also like get her, bring her in, hit her with Spender, and that's probably yeah. enough to kill her too. Oh, I see. X twenty three has no power from the the Hellfire sapped her power away. Right. So she doesn't have the ability to like hit two <clears throat> six dice pierces. Which is uh, what... yeah, that's true. But like the five die with re basically like two seven SBN, die attacks, yeah. which is probably enough to get her with the re roll. Like even through her like with three die plus re roll. Yeah. So, so ultimately, it's those I, those two characters are the only ones on the board that could get two attacks into her. Although Bill yeah. could uh, move, attack, and throw terrain. Uh, so that's an option as well. Looks like that's Emma true. is he going into the mix. seven power. Yeah, so he could do like a spender to get like a double, th and then a. Tr yeah, and still have enough for tough hide as well afterwards. He's slow though, so that makes oh, things there kind you of... go. Yeah, so it'd be kind of it'd be weird. So it looks like Awkward. Emma is just going to go. It looks like she's going to spend her into Wong, which he's looking for the wild to get the throw to throw Wong mm. into Black Hat. Yeah, it won't be enough to daze her, but it's still yeah. Puts well, the fear of God in her. If she goes, like if she just... if she whiffs and goes down to one, then Bill can then auto kill her. So yep. All right. So we have the spender does only one damage with the throw before damage. Yeah. So not with... that strong, but uh, you he, the wild I think was the one thing he was definitely looking for. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and he cranks her for the full amount. Oh, too. there it is! Wow, that's that's a problem. Yeah. Uh, eh, Wong goes. Wong's now. Wong's he has two heal. power Wong's now magically. He just heals himself and. Then... Yo, what up? <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. I can see it now. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I don't think he's going back to that point. I think he is just big chilling and healing. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't Oh, see. maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's going to go over and slow somebody then. Okay. He's not going to heal it, himself. Yeah. He's not. He's looking to not yeah. heal himself. Um, is uh, So is Lunch Me 20 uh, signups, are they happening soon or what's the deal? Yeah, they. I've been, I totally, I was busy this afternoon, so I didn't get a chance to like fill my thingy. I'm yeah. going to do that pretty much after this game. And once we're done, so it should be online tonight. So nice. sign up, please. Yes. 32 players again. Uh, yep. So, up, right? yeah. So. 
Yeah, 32 cool. just seems like a good number. It's like a good amount, and it's not like overwhelming for me in terms of like bookkeeping and hunting people down for lists that they inevitably won't put in right away. <laughs> so the um, it's it's cool too because it's like a lot, like pretty much any local event that I ever see on Longshanks is like is always um like. So usually between like six and like 20 low twenties amount of players that go into mm-hmm. like across the world. And so it's like the fact that you've got these, like these 32 player events that are running like consistently uh, is very cool as uh, they're, they're bigger. They're just bigger. And of course, like um, the players, like clearly like the players that play in these things are also pretty good too. Like clearly we're watching two uh, very strong players play. So you get a lot of good, uh, good practice in if you're or i don't know i don't what do you do you join these to get practice do you join these to show off all the practice you've done uh what what how, uh, do you, how does that yes. work yeah yeah yes, exactly, is, exactly is my answer it's, it's both yeah it's yeah, like yeah. definitely an expression of skill and also like practicing and learning because like just playing games you're like always learning and i feel like having like a little more stakes involved with the games it pushes you to be like just a better player make better choices like yeah. and just like enjoy the game a little bit more so that's right. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, so, Bill Move Mini, what is the symbol on Bill's card, if that's not the slow? Um, that's, whoa, what is that? Because there's like that little, I know, right? That is the slow. It's glitched. I No, I'm not, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I have no idea. Um, yeah, because the slow is like a little could have possibly, Stakes are high in the lunch meet events. I think, I think he's referring to, uh, yeah, like a, an actual steak. All right, nice. Oh yeah, because stake is spelled S T A K E. All right, look at that. Yeah. All right, got it, got it. Um, nice. Okay, nice. he was slowed. Yeah, they undid it and they noticed that. Okay, that's a really weird slow symbol. I think it's just glitched out. I think there's like a there's like some sort of pig, there's a pixel issue with it. Okay. I that's that's my guess because it didn't did not yeah. look like that earlier on a different card. On a different character. <laughs> Stay yeah. Up. So he looks like he's just gonna go snipe or something here into spider it's the stagger token by accident oh okay all right well i guess i'll have to remember that that's a stagger <laughs> yeah same color pattern as the slow i think which is slightly just it looks like it's okay it's hard to see when there's like 20 pixels uh yeah <laughs> um okay so they looks figured like I can understand what throw. happened. What happened was they didn't know which token was the slow and they won. This one looks like a slow. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Sense. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Um we've got Black Cat being thrown yeah. by Bill into Miles. Yep, yeah, just to get her into position and then also like the steel is like well with Pyro, I think might be the play. Okay, now we're seeing six characters all around one <clears throat> secure. This is very important secure. It's almost as if we could, you know, go to like any of the other four. Just a cluster. Just this is a, it's just a freaking All the cubes are over there. So it kind of makes sense. Like just bomb that thing and like just play like tight little activation games. So yeah. When you're in a situation where you're like, your teams are both very pretty mobile. uh, You're going to be, you're, (laughs) it's going to do stuff like this. Uh, a lot of like, especially when the when the extracts can be passed back and forth with cards or or attacks. Yeah. How do you sign up for lunch meet and or prove your worth to participate? Curly J's asking. Uh, you go to any of the Discord servers that I posted on. So it's like pretty much like the main Discord, uh, the soup salad sandwich one, which I still post in. Um, Taco truck and Muse, I think, are the ones I post in currently. Uh, so go there. There'll be a link to the event, and then just register, sign up. Uh, make sure you have your Discord uh, information in your player bio, and then put in a list. And then the rounds will get posted on like every Sunday night around like eight or nine o'clock when the last game wraps up. And then play your game, uh, put it in, and then play another one the following week for five weeks in a row. The uh, the pro tip that I would have if you want to be an early sign up is that you should um look just look in the it's like uh, the the one i do in particular is the online events channel on the tts discord the main tts discord i just set that channel to be a 
like notify me for any messages in the channel. And then I'll see Johnny post and a notification will come on my phone and I'll know like, and then I'll be able to jump in within a few minutes if, uh, if I'm signing up. So I'm looking to sign up for this one. I haven't been in the last couple, so we'll, uh, I'll be looking out for that tonight. Hell yeah. Don't let me down. Make sure it goes up tonight so I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't miss uh, it. I'll, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll definitely put it up. This one, I don't have to like do nearly as much of a fun, uh, treatsy mm -hmm. kind of ad copy thing, I guess. This sure. one's pretty easy, so. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, right. That, yeah, yeah. That, I, I know you're talking about. I just but that, that. that generally takes a while, and then like finding, pictures, and, like slowly finding pictures for this one for a while, and then yeah. yeah. So. I I can relate. I have to find a new wallpaper image for my my preview pick of the of every stream, and then I also have to promote the stream on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's fun. It's fun. It's a little mini game that you kind of have to play. Uh, <laughs> just for the sure fun is it. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what did we see here? We saw Gwen move up. She yeah, she did the slow bomb. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she went for it. All right, so they're all now slowed. And Emma paid two power to, uh, to do something. I think it was she to prevented prevent the, the pull. Po yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Which is a nice little move because that. Because Okoye is like basically primed and ready to stab Black Hat in the face here. Yeah. And pulling her off means that she was like fully staggered. So So the um the one thing about that too, okay, so it looks like we see Gwen did go into Pyro here and dazed Pyro. Yes. Six dice is pretty good to smack a guy down. Unfortunately. He only had she only had to deal three damage, so Yeah. An interesting uh, interaction she... with uh, with Gwen and Emma is that uh, her superpower says a character can only be pushed by that uh, ability once per turn. So if Emma stops the push from happening with her shield mind, you can then use power if you have more to do the same thing you just did. And uh, Emma would have to pay again to reduce it again. And it could it just can start a little bit of a, a stack of who has the most power gets the gets to do yeah. what they want. Yes, uh, Gwen is a cool model. <laughs> I gotta say. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like Gwen did an attack in a pyro, and I think off of that attack, uh, because yep, she, she had generated moved, three power. Yep. She and now she's getting her free long move, and she's just kind of thinking where she's going. So. Yeah. Trying to jam on the point. She is injured though, so it's like not. Uh, but she, yes, getting that power means she can use her, uh, her ability again to displace, yep. and Emma could stop it again. Um. So we'll see. We'll see if that all happens. <laughs> Curly J is asking if uh, vegans can apply. Uh, I guess. <laughs> okay, there we go. Sure. Just pretend that you like meat, I guess. That's probably <laughs> my best advice. Don't want to get like, bullied out of it for not enjoying meat. It's no, a, for real. So, yeah. it's, Any... so it's a don't ask, don't tell is what it is. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. Everyone's in, everyone is invited. Just be quick on the draw to sign up. And yeah, definitely love seeing new players in the events. It's always like kind of nice. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we don't we don't want someone uh, winning the uh, lunch meet four times. Do you know anyone that had, has won lunch meet four times, Johnny? Uh, I think Curtis is almost at three, right? He's you're uh, close. you've won four times. Get oh yeah, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although I have not won in like quite some, time, so it's I've definitely uh, missed that glorious uh, feeling. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's um. I mean, yeah, you really have to earn it here too with five weeks. I mean, I won, I won two of these, but it was, they were just four. Yeah, week all events. of mine were in the four week events. Yeah, yeah. so I've not like won one. one. Uh, Schmidt is, I think, the, I think Schmidt is like the most powerful champion. He went back to back with like the five weeks. I think he went four and then five. That's what I remember. Oh, you're right. It is that, yeah. And then so. and Leaf was won a five one, and uh, and Deluca yep. won a your LVO qualifier last year was five weeks. Yep, that was. So yeah. there's there's been like I think now this is the fifth one or fourth or fifth, whatever. Either uh, way, whatever that Matthew just said was yes. Yeah, sorry, Chat, yeah, please like please help us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. So either way, uh, that's uh, still winning a 32 player event is pretty. Uh, is pretty it's cool. big stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah being able to win five games in a row. MCP is a hard game. Yes. Definitely comes down to luck and dice sometimes. So, okay, so it looks like we have Okoye. So he did end up displacing Okoye off the point after yep, Emma. Yeah. After after Emma shield did the thing I mentioned. So Emma shield minded yep, again, yeah. but then Gwen paid all of her power to do it yep. one more time. I think that's okay. I think like just 
forcing Gwen to like to spend down to nothing, not having any like defensive rules online is probably all right. I don't know how effective they were going to be in like this cluster kind of situation, but getting Gwen off of power is always good. Yeah. So. And Emma's power doesn't really matter. She's only going to do like spenders with it. So like, whatever, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, uh, and now okay. is X-23 slow. is she, I don't know what looking... she's measuring in a, a medium move there. There we go. Where's there was yeah. correction. X-23, what's X-23 doing this round? Not a whole lot. Uh, cry. Yeah. Be sad about it. Uh, so with that, though, and like having last activation, X-23 probably just gets saved till the end Yeah. and can go after either of those other spots. Yeah. I see Although, that. no, um, Pyro dying put uh, priority back where it was supposed right, to you're be. Right, so. You're right, you're right. Deaton is going to go last with ASM or Panther here, probably. Yep, so yeah, so uh, yeah, X-23 is just going to be sad and cry about it. <laughs> yeah. Okoye just did a move action. She's now going to attack into Black Cat. Looks like she, I yep. don't think she has range 2. Maybe she does? She Let's does. I'm pretty sure she had range 2. That was like the spot that was like pre-measured her. She spent 4 power, so she's doing the uh, the spender. Does, There's the, the wild. Spender. Gets the pierce and a flurry and she oh, goes hell down. Hell yeah. Black okay, Cat's going to go down here. Okoye has two power, so she can pick up both oh. cubes. Oh, that I is... think the Flurry can attack another model too, right? Or does it oh, have to yeah. be the same model? I think you're I right. Yeah, remember. it's like the old... It's like uh, it's the it's just the good OG, flurry, OG yeah. flurry. Yeah, there it goes. Going into Gwen. Hell yeah, free-ass attacks. <laughs> Love to see it. All right, so we're going to see. Let's see if she gets any uh, big damage through here. Four dice. Oh, look at that. <laughs> just uh, four blanks. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Akoya give and Akoya take. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, all right, so now, yeah, there goes there's the cubes for Akoya. That's a pretty good activation for Akoya with uh, two attacks and a move, considering she was slowed uh, and everything. Displaced yeah. or whatever, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like ASM might fly in here. The problem, the challenge that Dean's going to have to overcome. Okay, look at that. He's attacking into Emma. Yep, um, and she's going to flip right back onto the point, get some sweet cover. Oh, there you go. I, okay. Although, if ASM hits this uh, trigger, yeah, it's, yeah. he's coming. <laughs> yeah, so he still gets He's, he's over attack. there. That's the important thing yep. is that uh, you don't, he doesn't, the card, the the ability to transform doesn't say that, like any sort of remeasuring of range or line of sight is has to be done. So, exactly, therefore, yeah. he still gets to do the attack, even though they're outside of three now. And he well, doesn't get anything good. <laughs> Dean pooped his pants, but so did Curtis. So, it all worked out in the end. Um, Curtis, he didn't even roll. He would Even getting a crit here would have been nice to gain two power for a web swing. Dean, like, right, we're, exactly. we're seeing a little bit of uh, frustration on the, on the yep. pieces here. He's got, he's looking yeah, for there's... a spot to I... place, and there's nothing. Yeah, I think that he's pretty uh, blind block. I, th I can, can see. It, yeah, yeah I, c I think he can see a little spot. Yeah, he's gonna um, try for it. Yeah, uh, that <laughs> that scoundrel is a goal. I, I know, I know. It's like it's, <laughs> uh, it's gonna work out. I think there. I'm sure. Uh, he is currently on top of her. It's hard to see with the. Yeah, he like flipped up a little, so I think they're talking about that. That he can't quite make it. He's gonna try to reposition a. Little. It's tough. Yeah. I right, so I don't know if he's making it here, but yeah, um, I can't tell either. Cause even we're on, like, even side, then, yeah. he's still not winning the point because Rhino and Emma are both. Uh, Rhino was on the point. There yeah, we he go. He just got bean dipped off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I can see. It. All right, there we go. I'm all caught up. Yep. I see now why he was why he's been doing this the whole time because he could always easily have just paid one part to displace. Okay, yep. so. Yeah, X-23 currently doesn't have enough. Looking and just putting an attack into Gwen here. She's, but she, how she, she can't do any of that because she has no power. So she would right, have yeah. to. So she's, I think she's just going to clear slow and walk because that way Black Panther can't just double walk over, like flip her off. Yeah. And you can use this then to like, with your extract advantage, Curtis can just kind of be like pretty measured with that. Yeah. And he's like totally fine with that. Okay, so where is the other cube? I think Okoye, Okoye has two cubes, so uh, that's why that's why we're not seeing one anywhere else. 
on the overlay. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think it's Aquaria that has it. Uh, Crunstall, hey, thanks for joining. This is a uh, recording of the game they played it last night. Okay. So, did Panther just pay another power? Yep, yeah, he to, paid a power uh, and beamed up off Okoye, so he can just take that point entirely. Right, because now he has... Getting Okoye off was healthy, so there were two healthy characters. Yep. ASM is one, and now there's two... I think ASM's on this point, right? I think that's what we're seeing. Yeah, ASM, I think he just made it, yeah. Uh, okay. So, let's see here. Uh, we're well, doing cube damage... The... Rhino power. Yeah, Aquaria just took two. She has two cubes. It's just like mismatched. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Either way, that's a huge round for Curtis here. Dean needs to rip these cubes off of him if he wants to. Did uh, Dean only this. tie that point? Maybe. So maybe ASM wasn't on the point. That's. The oh, he might not have made it then. He must yeah. not have, yeah. And then he was forced to like then get Aquaria off so he could actually like, contest the, the yeah. point and keep it even, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, if he didn't do that otherwise, Curtis would be at 15. Okay, so yep. now... Uh, Rhino still has a slow. He's not supposed to have that because he got flipped off, but yeah. I'm sure they'll catch it eventually. Hopefully. ASM was off and Gwen was injured. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we, we, we yep. nailed it. Um, we can figure it out eventually. It's hard to tell with... Uh... Yeah, without like being able to like kind of like go to the side and see... Yeah. Dude's chilling or above ASM's head, so... All right. Um, okay. Yeah. So you. So there's a lot of models on Deaton's team here that are all kind of in a line, and you have Pyro, who can roll up and uh, juice a beam attack through all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. Cause, so yeah, because that, that you can go ASM over Panther, to like Miles Black Hat. Yeah, you can, like, yeah, if you, like, go right up next to Gwen, you can hit literally all four of them in, like, a single beam, a single six-die beam. Yeah. Probably spread whatever, and then you can push them all away, too. So the, the only, the only issue is that you've got a one witty banter here for ASM. Uh, you got one. That's that's fine. Yeah, you're, yeah. <laughs> you're rolling 24 dice here, so uh, he you're going to hit it. some wilds. Okay. Yeah. Schmidt in the chat saying, remember this moment when people complain about emats being a scrum. And webs players think they are better than us. <laughs> well, they are. Sorry, Schmid. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> three, three scoundrel points. Why don't nobody want me, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's shocking that nobody is like getting those extra points. But it kind of makes sense. Like Deaton wants to slow the game down a little bit and like kind of like slowly pull back the lead instead of just playing like this very like fast paced game. Yeah. So it makes total sense. Okay, so we're seeing a power Ghost Spider gain a power damage. Emma gained a power, so it was an attack from Emma into Ghost Spider. Yeah, uh, Ghost Spider takes more damage from Emma, and there we go. Emma, oh, hold on, are we seeing oh, an she area attack? attack? Uh, maybe, yeah. No, hold on, uh, how much she... power does she have? Does she have enough to do area attack? She's about to. No, she's throwing the terrain. Okay. Uh, okay. And she's no, gonna just so, put so Gwen she did into two, the area. She did I two uh, of the physical like range two attacks. The, the piercy yeah. slappy attacks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, and then she goes in the toilet. All right, perfect. Couldn't have done any better, Emma. Great job. A+. Plus. Pop your leadership two here. Who cares about stupid pyro? And you heal as well. Yeah, you are living the good life. Okay. So, yeah, Gwen's gone. It's going to be... That's... uh. One way where you were able to swap multiple VPs or at least stop Curtis's multiple VPs. So he's going to have to. Emma transforms at the end of her activation if yep. she's in diamond form. So there that goes. She's shown bright like a diamond. Look at her go. <laughs> she killed a model. Yeah. Healed right. like 43 damage, gained like a shit ton of power. Just Italian finger kisses. Yeah, he's got. Uh, I mean, the thing here is what Curtis also has is mission objective online for multiple characters. It's oh, like, you sure do. Yeah, Curtis has all of his team tactics cards left. So except for Ren like, Yeah, so it's like even if you um do make like do what is happening here, Miles is for doing a spender maybe, or let's see what he does. I think uh, he's but, doing the kick into a Koye to like knock her out. Oh yeah, of, yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, 
but then even the if you but if you don't use spend or rhino it's like he can just mission objective his his uh cube onto bill or something and then run away Ooh. oh big four hit. crits so she's she's dazed drops the cube yep yeah she's toast no pushes needed or no throws needed who cared yeah she's right in range for miles so he's gonna pick that right up and then he's probably gonna hit rhino with the yeah uh, she might mission objective this. That's kind of what is being thought of. Yeah, so it's kind of risky putting it on Emma because she is a little glassy. And there's uh, <laughs> both uh, Peter Parker and Black Panther there, which can like just absolutely like tag her I don't for know. a bunch I, of damage. I, I'd, I'd, I'd save the mission objective for the stop the spender. There it goes. Oh, he has two of them. Yeah, okay. Maybe I, yeah. Yeah, you can What's only save one. Now? So yeah, I think saving the two is the right play like saving mission objective for this attack yeah potentially all right so what's wrong no. oh, he can't oh so this oh, is they, oh, they mismarked okay. it this yeah. actually came up yeah nice this is yeah. good so he uh so he just leadership rhino outside of mission objective. right but rhino should not have had that slow on him oh he got fuck. flipped last turn saying. and they didn't pull it off so that's huge uh goof him up yeah yeah i see I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're right. That, yeah. uh, they shouldn't have been able to bump again. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I mean, we are just the, the reason that the situation is that mistakes happen all the time, so you try to For sure, deal yeah. with it. Okay, so looks like he did do his spender into Rhino. and uh, Hit him for a million damage, but with Tough Hide, he just took a couple points. Man, when, you roll, when you have damage reduction on your character, and you roll your dice, and you get two successes in your dice roll, you like feel invincible. Yeah, you're like, all right, I'm taking one damage this yeah. attack. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's pretty fun. I, I've been I was playing a few uh, like I was playing Doc Ock leadership with with those uh, with like Rhino and Lizard and oh hell yeah, and it was yeah, fun. It feels it's like you're basically good. immune to incinerate too. So it's like Cable, I go against Cable or something, and it's like it didn't even matter. <laughs> I'll take one. I'll take one. I'll take one. It was sweet. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this is the aggressive trigger to get back on the point, which seems perfect. All right, Miles has three of the cubes. Yeah. Um, do you drop all the cubes with uh, pyrotechnics or just one? You drop one. Okay. All right, so let's see. He, he will need to get the incinerate condition onto the characters he wants to pyrotechnics. So let's see if, uh, how he handles this, if that's what he goes for. Yeah, no one else is within two as well, so it actually kind of makes things a little more challenging. Um, what, do, what do you mean? That. So because if you can get like a big beam set up, oh, okay. like because you could potentially beam through like three models and then pass the fire on right, just right. through like oh, Pyro's natural ability, you'd be able nobody to else being within them. two means that you have way less opportunities to do it. You're just forced to like roll the dice versus like getting to roll all the dice right yeah i totally see what you're saying i think that uh this yeah, is where, he, like web spender... swang over there which yeah. was a nice move yeah the spender on pyro could like it has auto incinerate on it i think it costs three power i am i i think i'm remembering correctly that it has auto incinerate um uh i think you are and uh I'm so so you could do that but it only has range two i don't know if, if pyro can get there uh, it looks... I'm pretty sure it can. That's easily within like a five stick, so that should be pretty easy. Okay, yeah. I was just I saw like the the rhino positioning made it like yep. skew off, but yeah. Either way, so that's like that's I guess the line you could take there to guarantee you strip miles of a of an extract. Yeah, absolutely. Which yeah, not bad. And he is he did take damage from the Hellfire leadership, so that's why I think that we're seeing urgency out of Pyro's activation here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think Pyro needs to go, otherwise he's gonna get got by Yeah. ASM. I mean Rhino could also go down here too. Like you're you're like, dude, who's gonna go down first? Pyro at, at four power or four health or Rhino at four health with damage reduction? I can, now uh, okay, saying that out loud so... means like I can already tell Rhino would if anyone's gonna survive this activation, like it's probably Rhino. Yeah, because yeah, he's gonna reduction. have so against ASM, he has like cover and tough hide. He's gonna take one damage maybe, and then against Panther, he's gonna throw five dice at him. He doesn't have a reroll online here, so he's probably gonna take a uh, damage. And then does it, is it worth it to like get the rerolls on the second attack? Yeah, 
So here's the so spender. Like, we are get we are seeing the spender from Pyro okay. into Miles here to gain. Yep, yeah, he was within. Range. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, and then you can like push him right back into range of like a Koye and everything too, and get like more extra dice. Um, yeah, which you can also good. roll well here. Four or you can just crank four. him for a bunch of damage too, and yeah, four really and now let's see if conversion on the spider senses. He gets one conversion. That's good. So he still takes okay. two auto and an auto incinerate. Yep. The um, so fire it means damage that uh, doesn't pass around, unfortunately. But yeah. here we are. But you know what? With okay, so I mean, he's not going to have three cubes, but he's only going to have two. But that's going to yeah. put him uh, miles at one health left if he doesn't take any more damage. Yeah, he's going to go right to where Bill is. He's going to push him right back into that little hole there. I'm yeah. almost sure of it. Right. Or pyrotechnics is away, right? It's not. Oh uh, no! Yeah, you're right. It is. It is away. I think we're going to see. Um, like if Bill just like throws Miles into something, he he day he gets KO'd at the end of the activation. Like he's gonna take two damage at the end of the round. Guaranteed. Yeah, he, so he's gonna like, take some damage here. I yeah, I mean I, sure. I would imagine he's gonna actually get KO'd before that because the incinerates. What are we seeing here? We're seeing one uh, damage. He pyrotechnics. Yeah. Um, but we're seeing um Miles just took one damage off of him. I'm not. Uh, it must have been a an accident. Book. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Pyro's drop. Yeah, there we go. He witty bantered. There we go. Curtis. Oh, okay. Challenge. That makes sense. Yeah. So, saves Miles an extra health. Uh, which can matter, too, because, yeah, you're definitely, with Bill, you can easily get, like, two extra throws in here. As well with, like, Spender attack, and then you can throw, like, six die energy at him, too, to, like, really just put him down and put him into the earth. Yeah. And then at that point, Curtis just needs to hold on to like one cube, and X twenty three is doing the Lord's work back there. So, it okay. can be as like simple as that. So Pyro made him drop the cube. I haven't seen Pyro pick it up. I would imagine he did. Unfortunately, uh, we're locked into this locked camera, so we have to just see Pyro's yeah. legs. And um, I'm I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure he picked it up. Right? He had. He had four power going Maybe into that. He or he had five power going to that. He spent one. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just kind of threw it on the ground, like, away from Miles. Yeah. I mean, either way, I think that you're in a spot where it's, like, you can afford to have four Steedens characters to move, like, away from the secures. Because all you need to do is win one cube and one secure. Exactly, yeah. Um, I guess, like, that's technically not true. Because if you'd only won one secure and one cube De and Deaton scored the rest, he'd, he'd tie the game at... At sixteen, sixteen, but of course, uh, uh, those are pretty far to get to. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, yes, yes. And do you, do you only? Have I so did. Many okay, left. so Curtis is saying that he did pick it up. He didn't. Okay. Uh, he no, he did pick it up. It, he just, he just. Uh, these these amateur players only know, with just, only with only a thousand hours logged in TTS like a, what a joke that is. I uh, think it's like it's like over like three thousand between the two of them, right? No, 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 dude. <laughs> Dean has like over six thousand hours. Okay, even more than yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think he said that he said that he played a lot, but then also he left it on a lot. And uh, okay, yeah. But yeah, like um, you think you think these players with a thousand hours played would like check the overlay to make sure that the uh, the tokens showed up when they placed them on their character cards, but uh, or they removed slows. We're dealing with we're dealing with dipping uh, models. Like, what the hell is yeah, this? I know this, this isn't is worthy of a finals. No, this <laughs> is a fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Um, like, what a what a joke. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. Anyway, the uh. Okay. So, Curtis did fix that. So the overlay is showing the the cubes now, and we're looking at Deaton to go here. Bill's got a cube. Emma's got a cube. Could Black Cat hat can steal from them? Where is she? Is she uh? She's right next to Bill. Oh, I see her. Yeah. So, I see her now. Yeah, she could definitely steal one. Yeah, and then perfect. Wong's just out of range. You love to see it. Make him do homework. Yeah. Protect Miles. It's it's just like that's like having that happen, like even when Curtis was doing the push and measuring to make sure Miles was outside of three of Wong, that's just like um that's an example of just like knowing your card knowing the cards and knowing what uh ranges each character matters to each character. Yep. And then measuring those like actually actively checking those ranges when you're about to make a positioning decision 
and then uh, and then of course like executing on the the knowledge you just and the ranges you just checked. So it's like, um, you're I, a lot of players like even good players though will make a mistake of like forgetting to check something, and then they'll like do the the push, the throw, the advance, whatever it is, and then they're like, oh crap, like I. I forgot that you could do this thing. So it's an easy thing to correct and then and you'll be better at the game for it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it looks like Rhino is taking the perfect amount of damage. Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, he blocked four. Never mind. He's taking nothing. Wow, okay. That's, uh, okay. yeah, there you go. Absolutely. Yes, King four health left. Yeah. yeah, my gosh. Okay, well, blocking one with Rhino looks like, and we've got only two successes. <laughs> oh, hey. uh, he's got a crit to resolve. Here, yeah, right? yeah. So he's still taking one though, regardless of the crit hitting or not. It's damage, so you love to see. Yeah, that. that's why he didn't roll the crit. Okay, so yeah. it um, looks like he's pouncing into him. This can't possibly kill Rhino. Yeah, that's another thing too. Yeah, when they when he has Rhino has three health left and he gets attacked by our size two throw, yeah, you know he's living. This yeah, is huge. Yeah, he it's cannot huge. die. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, it's so good. Okay. Uh, looks like Rhino might be uh, going to do some crimes here in a sec. Uh, there's also that size 2 on the other side of Wong as well. So he could place on the far side and get that as a free piece of terrain throw. And we can't really see the top of the map. Because it's kind of blocked by the UI. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know if there's like see, more terrain up there. Or I don't. Else. I don't think there is. I would imagine. Um, yeah, it's looks like there's tell. something in the corner above Miles. Oh no, no, hold on. No, that's that's completely. That's I thought that was transparency over the tactic cards, but there's actually a full block on them. So yeah, yeah we have yeah. no idea what's uh, what's behind the scoreboard. Yep. Yeah. Um, other than just re trying to remember what the map looks like, I don't think there's anything there though. Okay, so he's just going for Cat, which is fine. She blocks it. And this is who's uh, who's rolling here? Curse I think Rhino is going yeah. here. Okay, there's yeah. the place before damage on Black yeah. Cat. Yeah, he's gonna come over there, probably throw the piece of terrain into her because he has a quarter million power. <laughs> so yeah, I mean the other okay. Sense. So the oh, or just is Wong. Okay, yeah. Or just yeah. put down Wong. Yeah, that's not hateful either. Um, let's see what he rolls. Oh, that's enough. There, uh, without crits resolve, that's enough. Yep. There it is. Uh, perfect. Yeah. yeah so he gets a place first. So this is great. So he's gonna place first, and then he's gonna stampede onto the Secure, southeast yeah. uh, scoundrel point and be basically untouchable by like anyone else. Yeah. So there's the stampede going off, yep. and um, yep. And now, now as long as Curtis wins one more point somewhere else, the game is uh, the game is over. I mean, the game is. I think the, there's no with uh, with <laughs> with Deaton uh, only having two characters left. I don't think there's a way. There's no way out of this. It yeah, it's looking like. pretty rough, especially with Bill too. Like Bill can always just like yeah. double walk to a point to eat somebody off. Yeah, and Deaton is not. Uh, he's going like Curtis is going last this round too, so he's just going to lock in whatever. He, he sure needs to. is. Yeah, it's looking pretty damned right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Black Hat doing the steal, of course. All right, so stealing from Bill, he's got enough power to walk and leap. Um, or you could, yeah, you could. Could you? Leap I think you again? stagger, no. leap away, maybe. And like try to body block too. Bill off that point. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's. I don't know if it matters enough, but didn't get the elusive, so that's tough too. Yeah. You're just gonna be. Stuck. Yeah, because I guess if you get the elusive, you can go like towards the center point. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, he's just gonna put the slow on Bill, which seems pretty good. It's basically the stagger, effectively, close yeah. to it. So, makes sense, uh, reasonable, and um, yeah. All right, so then Black Hat's doing the leap here, looks like, to get away from yep. Bill. And try to go beyond the center point too, just in case people get cleared off. Uh, eh, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. Um, okay. uh, just kidding. Not doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're in. Uh... Yeah, I think uh, unless Curtis like walks characters off points, 
there's like mathematically now like ASM would have to like kill three models and he has only two attacks and the throws wouldn't do enough if he hit triggers to do enough damage. So I think yeah, let's see well I'm sure they're playing it out. Yeah, because you could have ASM double move contest the southern point, and then I guess you need to kind of kill Pyro here. You need to like one shot Pyro, and then you could like make an attack and swing and contest Rhino then. I think is basically your only out there. Yeah, the problem is like X23 and Rhino like win the game. Right, exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you can like have ASM go and then contest the Rhino point at least, but then I think you still just lose to like Bill clearing off the whatever point and Rhino yeah, then. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no, that's all. It's also yeah. Curtis is now uh, looks like he's winning this match, and it means that he is now. This is his third sandwich, or sorry, sandwich lunch meat. <laughs> Uh, I always mix up the two. Uh, the you do, yeah. It's it's all good, yeah. <laughs> we both like started about the same time. And... Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this yeah. is uh, Curtis's third lunch meet win. His first with a th at the thirty-two player level. So uh, there, there you go. Um, congrats to Curtis. He's uh, he's on a bit of a streak here, a pretty decent streak, and on these uh, online events, he won the the central bracket of the last TTS league, and then immediately. Or hold on, what is that like? What did he? When did he, when did he lose? He lost top thirty two, right? <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'll, I'll have to ask Relish, him what it's yeah. like to just immediately lose every time he makes it to the cuts. <laughs> I, I've never experienced that before, so I, I... That, not there though. But I think you're in three finals now, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, my my worst performance uh -huh. when I've made cut is top eight. So that's uh, I was I was I was devastated in last season when I only top eighted. <laughs> that's just... Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I but I also don't make I don't make cut. Uh, fifty percent of the time I play in the leagues, I don't make cut. So a very it's a very roller coaster experience for me in uh, in the TTS leagues. Um, yeah, I've been like I play in Europe generally for like my thing, and like I don't know what it is. That league is just a fucking Shark Tank, and the Europe. The I like Europe have gone. Yeah, I've yeah, run like four is. two. Like I think I made it in one time, like one or two times through like that bracket, and then otherwise it's just been nothing but like a shark tank. It is yeah. vicious over there. They're um, they're I mean, it's uh, there's a lot of good players. Curtis is mentioning that not only did he get kicked out on top thirty two, but it was literally the day they made the pairings. Yep, yeah, they played like really early. I yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, it's cool. It was call. It was the list that him and Color were working on too. Color made the made the uh. He got second place in the most recent season. So, yep. Um, you learned from Curtis's mistakes. He helped. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so it looks like, yeah, so. Um, oh, ASM is just going to crank her a billion damage. Ooh, All right. Look at that. Through exceptional. Okay. I guess he's. Uh, he had no money. He had no he money had for two it. Two power. Um, yeah. Crunchyroll saying last lunch meet match tomorrow. There you go. So you're wrapping up the wrapping up your bracket. Or this is exciting round. that it's, it's kind of fallen in because like normally it always seems that like someone's like oh i have something going on that fine then it takes like a week and a half to actually like wrap close so. it up. yeah yeah it's nice it's nice yeah. and clean to close it out uh i you don't sure, want yeah. i mean but you're you would uh you would force the games you would just like force the bracket to end at a certain point uh i've generally people i haven't had to like yeah. resort to that people will good, good yeah they'll like wrap things up or whatever like it like happens generally i know like i've may or may not abuse my power a couple times to play that game <laughs> in the following <laughs> but that's okay i can yeah, do that yeah. there you go <laughs> um yep it's your it's your bracket we're all it's your uh it's your event we're all just living in it i guess so yeah <laughs> okay asm looking to do a web swing here and just do another attack yeah crank um, a shit ton of dice into like emma and you can get it and but oh interesting well hold on he has last activation here bill's on the point yeah, Emma, you attack Emma, you contest this point. Uh, okay, yeah, you'd have to. Yeah, you could. You could. No, no, you still. You still um, but you make it close. You make it closer than it would have been. 
the, the score on long shakes will reflect a a uh, um, a closer discrepancy in, in scoring. All right. So ASM did a web swing. He's going into pyro to stop the cube score. Oh, he's hoping for. Uh, um, I guess like um, I don't know. There's nothing to really hope for. What am I saying? Yeah, I don't think you just have like enough actions and stuff. Yeah. There's also a mission objective too online, and Bill is literally mm, right fair, there. Fair. Yeah. Okay. That's there. We go. That's game. They're gonna score it out. So Curtis is gonna score one, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, I think he just has three to go to uh, seventeen. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay, because three, he's got two secures and two points. Oh, hold on. Uh, one secure. I've, one X23 secure. is very toast. Oh, yeah, my bad. I was kind of expecting <laughs> yeah. that. I see there. Okay, um, there we go. So that's the game. So congrats to Curtis and Deaton for both uh, – Deaton for second place in this one and Curtis for winning the event. Uh, we'll see you on the second place. Uh, tie breaks are a hell of a thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Events, yeah, that's right. You, so. you, there's no uh, – it's, no, uh, it's no cut. Or finalist. Like that. Yeah, finalist. He is a finalist. There's, okay, there's a difference, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, thanks, Johnny. I'm excited to do this again uh, for season 20 or for season 20 for uh, lunch meet 20. Yeah. And uh, and we'll, uh, we'll so we'll catch you in the next one. All right. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. I love streaming these games. It's always a blast and seeing great games. So yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Have a good night. Yeah. You too. All right. There we go. Streams over. Got a TTS league coming up in a couple weeks. I think signups are just starting up. Uh, streaming with Johnny is a blast, so thanks for joining, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.